Hey everybody, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Today I'm showing you a 2008 Monaco Dynasty. It's a 44 foot diesel pusher. Um, beautiful rig, in my opinion, it's the last year of really high quality builds. It was 2008, um, also being a 2008, you don't have exhaust gas regeneration, you don't have to deal with death. A lot of the stuff that people are having problems with nowadays, you get to just surpass. You don't have to deal with it on these. So a beautiful rig, um, full body paint on it, no chipping of the of the paint or anything like that. Clear coat's in great shape. Um, we have the panoramic window up front, heated and powered mirrors. Um, let me see if it has that, okay. Um, We'll go around this way and, and we'll come on back and go to the inside. Um, 8,000 watt generator hidden right in here. That's a hit a switch and that'll come sliding out for you. It's an Onan quiet diesel. Um, in my opinion, it's, it's the best generator out there. So um, 8,000, more, uh, more than enough to power everything in the system. Um, this is just our electrical ends. We'll skip it. Diesel exhaust or diesel generator exhaust. We have the Alcoa aluminum wheels. Um, they're 22 and a half inch commercial size wheels on Michelin tires. These are nice tires and they were mounted in, uh, let's see, 2018. So, so still good, still got a lot of life on them. Um, on our, there's a four slide unit on our living room slide here. You do have a uh, window awning there as well as a slide topper awning up above. So the window awnings are great for keeping rain out when you want the windows open, keeping the sun out when it's too hot. Um, and then the slide top awnings are just good for keeping debris off your seals and one more barrier for keeping moisture um, from coming in at all. Um, we do have the side opening doors down low, which is wonderful when you have a slide like this, it stays out of your way. And this big, gigantic Joey bed. Super duper wide, comes out about 60% of the way, maybe 75% of the way, but comes out this way, comes out on the other side as well. Um, but just so nice for really being able to load this thing up and then actually access it when you need it. Not gonna have to send your kids climbing in there to get stuff. You still can if you want. Um, we have our fuel door here as well. Um, you can fill it from both sides. Big 200 gallon fuel tank that'll keep you going for a long time. Uh, should get you a, shoot at least halfway across the country before you need to fill up. Stop in the states that are cheaper to get fuel. And we do have a propane tank in there. I believe it's about a 35, 36 gallon tank. Another Joey bed in here, about the same size, same thing, comes out about the same way, but again, just can't have too much storage, especially when it's easy access like that. Nice stainless steel um, wash bay. So you have a, a little sink there for washing your hands, hot and cold water, easy valves for gray and black there. Um, and you have all these things for your power cord reel. You have a powered um, city water reel, so you're not having to wind anything up. It does it for you. Um, it has a built-in powered sani flush so you can just clean yourself or you can do it the old manual way plug it in there and let it clean itself so two options for keeping those tanks clean i believe this is a bathroom window there but again has a nice little uh, window awning so you can keep that open this is a tag axle um, so we have the single set here and dually on the the front axle there um, that tag axle will lift up and uh, give you a little bit more ability to turn without dragging that rear tire because it turns so sharp up front 60 degrees or so um, down below you'll see another exhaust pipe that is for your aqua hot system you have a diesel fire furnace on here which will basically You'll have endless hot water that runs on diesel or electric. And then secondly, what it'll do is it gives you radiant heated floors um, by running that coolant through the floors, um, which is really nice. You can also preheat your motor with those aqua hot systems. They're very, very cool. Um, they're, they're, they're worth it. They're, they're absolutely wonderful. Um, bedroom awning here, windows on either side of the awning, or excuse me, of the slide room for just getting a nice breeze through there. Side mounted radiator here. And then let's look at this big old power plant. But I don't know if I'm doing a, a good job of explaining how pretty this thing is. If you, hopefully you could see it in the video, but just the paint's in perfect condition. It's a great color scheme. Um, and it's just a nice rear fiberglass cap. You do have the backup camera up there as well. So that is a Cummins ISX. That's a 525 horsepower diesel. Um, I believe it's like a... 11 liter it's a monster but making about 1800 foot pounds of torque 525 horsepower 
Believe it or not, fairly fuel efficient for these motorhomes. You're going to get about eight to ten miles per gallon at that thing, driving it, you know, consistently. Um, you know, overall, there are times where it might be a little better, be a little worse, depending on where you are. But nice, easy access to your uh, your fuel filter there. Um, you have a service bay on the other side, showing you how to do the the oil and uh, you know fuel water separator, all that stuff. Cummins power, woohoo! This little compartment, we have our uh, chassis batteries, but they have the slide, makes it nice and easy to get to them. And down here we have our house batteries. So it looks like we had two chassis and six for the house. And it looks like you have room to add. You could probably do eight for the house if you wanted a little bit of extra amp hours on your batteries. Um, awning on this side, you have the window awning as well. Um, and the slide topper, I should say and another window awning here. So it looks like every single window on this thing, short of those two, because you have your regular awning, have window awning. So a uh, really nice feature. I think it's just great. So you can have fresh air flowing through there. And that is a box awning made by Girard. Um, so that thing will, it has a wind sensor on it. It comes out about 10 feet or so. It doesn't have arms to get in your way. Um, and if the wind picks up, it'll send itself back in without you having to touch anything. Um, I'll skip the rest because we already saw that, but here's just the readout for your Aqua Hot and um, holding tanks. So if you needed to get to something, it's nice and easy. All right, keep on going. At our entry door, a couple real nice features. You have the, the, uh, the keypad for if you forgot your keys or just don't want to carry your keys, you can get in, you can lock it using that. You have these really attractive steps that, that come in all flush. Of course, they're electric but they come in flush and, and just, they're nice wide steps too. So they make getting in and out easy, especially if you're not as sure-footed as you once were. Um, and up top, we do have a powered door awning as well to keep this area dry um, or shaded or whatever you're using it for. All right, no peeking back there yet. It's beautiful, we'll get to that. Um, but up front, we're on the Spartan chassis here. Gosh, I believe. Gosh, it might be a Roadmaster. Pardon me, I should know that. Um, let me cheat. It's a Roadmaster. Cool. Roadmaster chassis. Um, just really nice control center here. A little bit of digital mixed in with a little bit of analog. Um, I love these displays. They're nice and easy. They don't take up a bunch of space, but they show you everything you need to see. Engine temp, trans temp, um, exhaust gas temperature, the air pressure here, your odometer, battery readouts, and a boost uh, thing. So it's really everything you need. And then you do have an Aladdin system to read anything else that you want to know about the rig. Our backup camera is plugged right into here. Um, it does have two more outlets if you want it or inlets if you wanted to put side mounted cameras on this thing. Oh, there it is. Pardon me. So it has side mounted camera. So you flip your blinker on it, it'll show you down the side and then you put it in reverse. And you have a backup camera. You can also roll down the street with that on. That's how I do it. Um, just to be able to see what's back there. It's kind of peace of mind thing, but do it however you'd like. Um, six speed Allison's transmission. It's a 3000 model. Um, controlled shades here, electronically controlled shades for a sun visor. And then um, even for your privacy curtains, these are powered as well. So um, really just nice touch there. You have the auto level here. This is um, air and jacks, I believe. So I believe it's landing gear as well as no, pardon me, it's air, air, air leveling there, air leveling there, but with auto level, so you can press the button and just walk away. It'll level itself out. Um, you do have a two-stage Jake brake, um, so it's three-cylinder or six-cylinder. Um, that six-cylinder will stop you um, to the point where if you're doing 65, give yourself a quarter mile, you take your foot off the throttle, it'll slow you down to about 10 miles an hour in that time. Um, it'll save the life of these brakes. If you use it correctly a long time, probably about 50% of their lifespan will extended. Um, you do have, this is what I was saying, the AquaHot preheat. So you can use that coolant that's in the AquaHot system to switch it with your radiator, radiator back there, um, and preheat your motor. Um, and then you have a block heat that just runs off your batteries to keep that block warm, get you running efficient as soon as you leave, um, and adjustable pedals there. So if you sit a little different, you can adjust the pedals in and out. Okay, now you can look. She's beautiful. Um, love the flooring in this thing. Um, it's tile all the way through until the bedroom, which I think is how it should be. Um, your slides are carpeted, but just really nice for keeping this clean. This is where most of the traffic's gonna be, so awesome. Good job, Monaco. Also, build, build quality. It's just all solid woods in here. It looks 
like a walnut, like maybe a walnut type wood. I'm not the best with that, but it's like a walnut color. I can clarify if you need to know, but um, really nice there. Um, great counter space in your kitchen here. Um, this guy tucks in and out, so it doesn't need to be there, but definitely is helpful having it come out. We have the inset burners here, two burner stove by Amana. I don't know Amana well, but a propane stove is kind of just a propane stove. It looks nice. Right above that, we have the microwave convection oven here. Um, and then nice controls for aqua hot. Everywhere on these Monaco's where you have water running, you have controls for your aqua hot. So you don't have to be walking around to, to use it. Um, good storage throughout this thing. Um, and then you have this nice kind of separated sink here, which is nice. You don't have plumbing on your slide. It, it keeps it off the slide. Um, and also it just keeps your sink from taking up counter space. So double den sink there, porcelain insides, all Korean counters about as good a quality as you'll find um, the couch there um, does pull out into a bed before we get too far along you can look up front and see the the television that is a smart TV and that little half dome below it is a camera um, for the inside so you can actually monitor from your bedroom if someone's in here whatever you want to do one more way of security or whatever you want to use it for but there is a camera there to, to see inside of here we have the dinette here that leaves out a bit and then we'll actually fold in. There's a line right here where you can remove this leaf and fold it in quite a bit so it's out of your way. Probably gonna be more useful during travel because even with this all the way out, you're not exactly fighting for space in here. You got lots of room. Um, good storage above this side. You kind of have a workstation there, it's kind of a, like a desk area. Um, you have ways to run your cords up without them having to be exposed. Nice little spot for a, for a keyboard or however you decide to use it. It could be a craft station too. You don't have to use a computer. Um, good storage down below. What is this? I don't know. Kind of neat though. A little hidden away compartment. I can think of a couple ways to use that. Um, yeah, good storage there. We do have the, the residential style Frigidaire mic uh, microwave refrigerator here this has a standalone inverter just for it um, so you have the battery base to do it um, you don't have to be drawing juice from you know other inverters you have a standalone inverter for this thing so um, it does have some solar on there it's enough to keep up you know after a day or so you will need to start your generator if you're not plugged into power to make sure your batteries are charged to keep this thing going um, but you know when you're driving you have your alternator charging your battery so you can go indefinitely while driving without having to run your jenny but yeah if you're boondocking you do need to run your gen after a couple of days um just to thermoma thermostat uh, thermometer thermostat god goodness thermostat um for your dual air you have zoned air up front and in the back two ac units both 15,000 btu um, then you have a heat pumps on both of them too. So if you're plugged into power or running your gen, you don't need to be burning propane for heat. You have both options. Um, nice little pantry space here. Where is it? Nope, not a pantry space, excuse me. Look how nice that those walls look, woohoo. Um, moving back into the bathroom. You'll see we have a good size shower here, very tall. Let me pick this up. Doing that wrong? Anyway, super duper tall. I'm like 6'2", and this makes me look short. Um, get my arms all the way up, get them out. It's a nice shower pan in here. Um, nice hardware in the for the uh, faucets and things like that. But plenty of space. Not something you're going to feel claustrophobic in. And again, with those aqua hots systems, you can take about as long as a shower as you want. So, so take advantage of that. We have our vanity here with a nice little medicine cabinet up above um, and some good storage down below. The commode's a good size. You can pay a lot of attention to your commode. They're not fun to shop for, but they're one of the most important things when you're looking for the right rig for yourself. Um, separate vanity there, little sink, storage cabinet, um, fantastic fan above you, porcelain potty, everything you should need. And there's plenty of space, just to give you an idea. I mean, I'm, again, I'm not a short guy, but plenty of knee room. It doesn't feel small in here. I can get my arms out, so I'm just functional, very functional, and not, not taking up too much space. Um, Solid wood doors, maybe not that important, but just shows you the quality of the rig, even your walls. Solid wood, I dare you to find a wall in one of these new rigs. If you hit it that hard, you're gonna put a hole in the wall, not in these. Um, opposing windows on both sides of the bedroom here, get a nice breeze going. Um, if you like to sleep with the windows open, I know I do. Um, and then you can see on either side of this bed, 
um, more controls more so on this side of the bed but you have light controls you can turn your generator on you can turn the stereo on you have that monitor there like i said so you can you can see what's going on inside in the front there you can also see what's going on outside of your rig using your other cameras so kind of nice without having to get up you can see if you hear something outside you know for the most part you can see all around the rig using that um, good storage up above the bed there you have a ceiling fan woohoo um, a little bit of storage underneath here, not anything to write home about because we have our slide there. Um, but yeah, just kind of narrow storage there, a little bit deeper on my left hand side here. Um, pocket doors there, it's a dual pocket door so that'll close off and give you some privacy in here if you'd like it. Um, but look at this space at the foot of the bed. I mean, normally you're pretty tight, but that, that's a great walk around space. Um, in the back, we are plumbed for a washer dryer, but um, previous owners opted for storage. Easy fix if you want a washer dryer. If not, um, makes for good storage. It's really just what you prefer. And if uh, you're the type of person that does all their laundry in the RV, you can see you clearly have enough space for a stackable washer dryer. If you don't want to go with a combo unit, you can put a stackable unit in there. Got our TV monitor there. Could maybe use an update. It is a little bit older, but um, if you don't watch TV, then who cares? Um, I see this as kind of like a hamper with how deep it is, or you use it however you'd like, but it makes for a good hamper if you want to put your dirty clothes in there. But if, they've, if you don't, you don't have to listen to me. Do it however you want. Um, nice big closet in the back. Very tall. We have our folding chairs there that go for the dinette out front, or the, the floating table out front. Um, and then electrical controls on this side, your breakers and fuses and things like that. You even have an AC duct into your closet so your clothes don't get too warm because you don't want that. You need to keep your clothes cool on these hot days. Don't be mean to your clothes. Um, again, good storage up there. Um, and this bed is actually, this, so this is, I believe, sitting on here is a full, it is meant for a queen, like a full length queen, not an RV queen. So if that's a concern of yours, I can even measure it. It might take bigger than that, but you can see we have gaps on either sides of the bed. Um, oh, and also you do have outlets on either sides of the bed. So if you're running a CPAP machine or anything you need when you're going to bed, both sides of the bed have that. So if you're both using it, you don't have to fight over one side of the bed. Um, again, I think I already mentioned this, but Monica does a good job always having water heater controls right by where the water comes out and um, water pump, all that stuff is always right, right where you need it to be. Um, all right, let's come back through. I'm going to kind of wrap this up. I'm sure I forgot some stuff, but again, it's a 2008 Monaco Dynasty sitting on a Roadmaster chassis with the Cummins ISX motor, 525 horse, 1,800 foot-pounds of torque, um, Allison 3000 six-speed transmission, um, fiberglass roof. That's a good thing to know. Uh, One-piece fiberglass roof. They basically can last indefinitely. You just make sure your seals are good, but it's not like the rubber membrane where they fail in time. Um, so beautifully done there. Full body paint on it. Um, pretty low miles on this thing too, so, um, but just can't find this kind of build quality nowadays unless you're going with a marathon coach or a Prevo and, and you're dropping a million bucks on them. Literally, I think they start at 1.1 million um, to get this kind of quality or you just spend a tenth of that price and get something like this. So um, anyway, again, Monaco Dynasty 2008. I don't have the model number in my head. I apologize. It'll be listed in the description. I'll make sure so you know that. Pardon me for not knowing before we came out here. Um, now I'm just fiddling with stuff, but more, more things. That was longer than I expected. Um, and couch pulls out into a bed. Don't know if I said that, but now I did. So anyway, thank you guys for checking out the video. I'm Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Um, hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day.